Hi, and thanks for stopping by Pastor D's Thoughts. There's a dangerous trend happening in the church world today. I've seen it more and more, and uh, it just kind of really hit home personally today. I ran into somebody who had uh, previously been attending my church and just kind of disappeared. And as I got to talking with this person, I asked why she and her family had not been coming to church. And she told me that they had found a new church. And, you know, honestly, that hurt. But I asked, I said, uh, just what is it about this church that you're going to now that uh, you like better than ours? And she admitted to me, she said that she and her family loved me, loved my family, loved the people of our church. She said, but uh, when she goes to this other church, she never feels, as she said, guilty. She said that uh, she always walks away feeling uplifted and encouraged. And, you know, that's what she was looking for. She didn't want to be made to feel sorry for the way she was living her life. And I was just dumbfounded. Uh, and I'm not talking about bashing people over the head. But the reality is that the Word of God is sharper than a two-edged sword. And it cuts asunder, the Bible says. The Bible is going to correct us, it's going to rebuke us, it's going to challenge us to change our lives. And my question is, if people are going to churches where they are just uplifted and made to feel okay, no matter how they're living their life, as this person told me, isn't that exactly what Paul warned about when he wrote to Timothy and said in the last days they will heap unto themselves or gather unto themselves teachers who tickle the ears, teachers that make them feel good about what they're doing and how they're living and there's no need to change. I want to tell you something that when you are born again, there ought to be a change in your life. And if there's not a change in your life, if there's not a change in the way you live, in the way you speak, the way you behave, the places you go, the people you hang with, then you're not born again. Because when you're born again, there ought to be something changed so drastically. That's what repentance is all about, that we walk away from that old world, old way of life that we lived in the world. This person was telling me that uh, the church they're going to now didn't care if they get drunk once in a while. They didn't care if they missed a Sunday here and there, They, as long as they came. And I thought, that's a dangerous trend. And it's not just this one church where they're going. This is happening all over the place. You know, with God's strength, I promise, I will never pastor a church where people feel good about living in sin. I will never pastor a church where people feel like they can continue living the way they live, happen to come to church when they feel like it, don't worry about it other times. That's not what it means to be born again. When I gave my life to Jesus Christ, I surrendered my life and my will to Him. I became a bondservant to Jesus Christ. There's things in my life that over the years, as the Holy Spirit pricked my conscience, and I was, as my friend said today, I felt guilty. And I realized that what I was doing was shameful and brought reproach upon not only myself, but upon the body of Jesus Christ and upon Christ himself and that created in me a desire to change that's what being born again is all about and I just want to say to whoever's watching this video today if you're going to a church that doesn't preach repentance that doesn't preach the need to change then you need to get out because that's not a church that's a social club that's a place that is just trying to draw people in so they can have large crowds and large offerings. And that is going to cause a lot of people to go, go to hell. That is exactly what Jesus was talking about when he said, Many will come to me on that day and say, Lord, Lord, didn't we gather in your name? Didn't we cast out demons in your name? Didn't we do all these religious things? And Jesus is going to say, Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity, for I never knew you. You may play the religious game, but the question is, do you know Jesus Christ? And if you know Jesus Christ, there ought to be a change in your life. Just want to give you something to think about today. You have a great day. God bless you. Come and see me again at Pastor D's Thoughts.